Hello everyone. How are you doing? You are most welcome in the name of Jesus. You are most welcome. God bless you for tuning in. God bless you as you are coming in. May God bless you. May God grant you your heart desire in the name of Jesus. You are most welcome. My name is Henrietta and on this channel we pray to God. We seek solution. We leave our problems for God. This is a praying channel. So join us, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you will always get updates. I come here to pray with you every day and go on live every Sunday. So join us and your life will not remain the same again. In the name of Jesus, Amen. So today, you are going to do this for seven days. Do this for seven days to get fast answer to your prayers. Do this for seven days to receive your heart desire. No matter what you want, no matter what you are searching for, maybe you have tried different things. You have done different things and you have not gotten your result. Always keep your faith intact. Keep your faith intact and do more. Pray more. Never get tired of praying. You should never get tired of praying because you don't know when your miracle is closed. You never can tell. It might be tomorrow. You might get that thing you have been looking for for a long time tomorrow or even two hours from now. Depend on the will of God. So now, if you have a request or anything you need urgently, you are going to do this for seven days and see what God can do in your life. So, get a sheet of paper like this, a plain piece of paper and write down your intention, your desire. One major thing you need most. I know that at times we need different things. As humans, we have different desires. We want this. We want that. We want this. We want that. But now, in all your desires, there is a major one you need badly. You have your most important intention, your most important request. Write down that one thing that you need the most. So for this, you are not to write down all your heart desires. No, write down that one major thing, that big problem, that pressing thing that you need solution from God urgently. So when you write down your heart desire, your intention on this paper, this paper now becomes a petition. It becomes your petition. So this is what you are to do. You will wake up at midnight. Wake up at midnight and hold your petition. Hold it and get any amount of money you have. You are going to sow a seed. When you sow seed for your heart desire, it calls for miracle. Learn to sow seed. I know at this stage, you might not have so much, but God knows your heart. He knows how much you truly have. You are going to sow this seed in the life of people who are actually poorer than you are. You are going to sow this seed in the life of people you know that you are better than financially. God loves a cheerful giver. So hold your money and hold your request. 
wake up at midnight wake up at midnight for the first night and start your prayers whatever you have written down begin to pray on it again whatever you have written down that is what you will pray on don't write one thing down and you are praying on another thing no it does not work that way okay please before you start any prayer ask for forgiveness tell god to forgive you all your iniquities tell god you are sorry to forgive your sins and thank god for everything he has done no matter your situation no matter your problems the lord has done a lot you are alive you are not dead your hands are not broken. You are not blind. So always have a reason to appreciate God because He has done a lot. So when you are done with that, now begin to pray on your request and the seed. Lord God, this is my request. This is what I'm waiting on you for. And this is my seed. Oh Lord. I am sending this seed an errand. Lord God, grant me my heart desire. As I am sowing this seed, as I am obeying your commandment, helping people I am better than, sowing in the lives of the poor and the needy, O oh Lord, answer my request. O oh Lord, grant me my heart desire. Now, begin to call out that thing you need. That same thing that you have written down. Call it out. So if what you want is a good job, oh Lord, I need a good job. I need a good paying job. As I sow this seed, oh Lord, send me a good job. Oh Lord, open my doors. Oh Lord, cost me favor. Oh Lord, bring me favor in my job search. Cause me to flourish. Send me helpers. Lord, I need a good job. Open doors of connection for me, O oh Lord. I receive my blessing in the name of Jesus. I receive my blessing in the name of Jesus. So when you are done praying, fold your money, your seed, and your request, and get your Bible. Open your Bible to Psalm 23. Make sure you read Psalm 23. 23 read the whole of that psalm the lord is my shepherd read the whole of that psalm when you are done keep your request like this and your money your seed keep it there leave it till the next midnight again do this prayer only at midnight but try to fast Try to fast within the day. There is power in prayer and fasting. I know that many of you, you like food. But at times, when you have a serious problem, at times, when things are not working, at times, when you want to move the mountain, fast and pray. Even if you cannot break by 6, break by 12, 1, 2, Yes, fasting is a sacrifice. And aside that, when you fast, your spirit is more active. Remember, it is not just fasting, but fasting and prayer. So within these seven days, you can fast for three days. If you can, you can fast every day for seven days. Remember, while you are fasting, you are praying even when you are going to work when i'm fasting at times at work i still bend down rest my head at times to say a word of prayer even if it is for 10 seconds don't say you are so busy if you are so pressed you can take excuse to ease yourself to go to the rest room take a second to pray on that request at this time, you must not bring out your petition or anything. 
Just pray on that thing you have written down. Make sure your petition and your seed is still in your Bible at home. Okay? Try to fast. When you are fasting, every hour, make sure you pray. And when you are fasting, you don't tell anybody that you are fasting. You don't yawn every time or complain that you are hungry. Hey, oh my God, I'm so hungry. They will now ask you, why have you not eaten? You don't narrate your fasting. When you fast, it is between you and God. And maybe your spouse or the people with you at home. Because your family members will definitely know that you are fasting. So when you get home, you can break at work. Break by thanking God. Whenever you are breaking your fasting, thank God for answering your prayers. So wake up at midnight again and get your Bible. Remove your request and your money. Pray on it again. Lord God, this is my heart desire. I pray on this seed. As I sow this seed, O oh Lord, as I obey your commandments, send me my blessing. Lord, I need this. Whatever you need, begin to tell God again. So when you are done, you keep it back in your Bible. Remember I told you before you start your prayers, make sure you ask for forgiveness and thank the Lord. That is all you need. Then you pray on your request and pray on your money. Keep it back in the Bible and leave it there till the next midnight again. Do this for seven days. On the seventh midnight, do the same thing and remove only your money, the seed. Leave your petition in the Bible. As a Christian, as a Christian, your heart desire, your request should always be in the Bible and in your church on the altar. But most importantly, in the Bible. So in the morning, take out your money, your seed, after seven days. Go out. Anybody you feel that you are better than, you see that they are struggling. They cannot even eat. Things are difficult. Just give them the money. Don't give people you are of the same level. Or people around you, you know that they can easily pay you back. Go out under the bridge. You see beggars. Or go to orphanage and just drop this. And that is all you need. That is all you need. So from that day, stop praying on the request. All you need to do is to thank God on that request. Whenever you are praying in the morning, in the evening, just bring out your request and thank God after the seventh day Lord thank you for answering my prayers that is faith when you pray you believe that you have received that thing and that thing will be yours so after that seven days your prayer will be that of thanksgiving oh Lord thank you for prayers answered God will answer you this always work if I need anything urgently, if I'm experiencing some challenges, I do this and I always get my result because the Lord never fails. So do this and see how God will change your life for good. Those who mock you will remain speechless. Your haters will regret because the Lord will transform your life and even your enemies we plead to be your friends. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you have not. Give this video a thumbs up. Share with your friends. I will see you again.